Let's talk about another challenging question, and this is actually one of the most classic physics question that uh, we have called Monkey and Hunter. Let me show you a video here. I'm going to show you a classic physics demonstration that's been around for over 100 years. It's called the Monkey and the Hunter because it features a monkey sitting in a tree and across the way from him in another tree, a hunter. Now, according to the story, and remember it was written by physicists, the hunter is in a tree at exactly the same height as the monkey and pointing his gun direct. Um, I want to clarify that uh, in later on, uh, we will not set it as the same height. I think for experimental purpose, it will be easier to set it more like this, so then they got on the same level. But in fact, if they are not in the same angle like this one, like with certain tilt angle, it will still work the same, all right? And we were going to prove it uh, with the equations. Exactly at the monkey. But the monkey's not entirely foolish and has figured out what's going on. So he's come up with a plan. He's going to watch the hunter very closely. And when he sees him pull the trigger, the monkey's going to let go of its branch and fall to the ground because he figures the bullet would just fly over his head. Now the oh, you can imagine simply when you shoot the gun, I mean, shoot the bullets, then the sound will kind of scare the monkey off and then so the uh, monkey's hand will be off and so the monkey will fall off the tree. Question is, is the monkey right? And if not, why not? Let's see what actually happens. <laughs> I think I actually got it. So you can see it actually got hit. right here exactly the same okay and it can be explained by physics equation actually now i wasn't really expecting to hit the monkey because this is quite a fiddly experiment to do but let me quickly explain the setup the monkey as you've guessed is just a tin can and it's held in place by an electromagnet which is so electromagnet should be something that you learn in IGCSE where whenever you run a current through it then there will be magnetic field and when the current is off then the, the magnetic field will be gone connected via this circuit when I fire the bullet it breaks a piece of foil here disconnecting the alright so when he kind of blow the whatever object that is uh, it will cut off the circuit connection here and become uh, there's no current afterwards magnet so the monkey falls and it starts to fall the instant the bullet leaves the gun so that explains the experiment but can you explain the physics of why the bullet hits the monkey okay so that's why you see there's a long wire on the ground where it is uh, actually one single circuit here okay so for the time now I would like to ask you to uh, prove uh, me using the equation on how come it will hit the monkey for the bullet. So for the situation, uh, you may want to we arrange it to be more general if you want to challenge yourself. If you think uh, you may not be you know, that able, then you can go with the experiment setup where it is level off. But I do actually think it is certainly fine that you can say um, a bullet that simply shooting the monkey okay I, 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 I'm not, I don't know how to draw a monkey say uh, the monkey on the tree so as long as the gun is pointing to the monkey okay so this is a situation the gun is pointing at the monkey the speed in fact does not matter so you can go uh, as fast as you want or you can do, do a bit slower of course it has to be fast enough so that the bullet will be able to reach uh, the monkey at that level, this plane before reaching the ground, or, more, um, or you can you can think about if it is too slow, they will be simply drop drop before reaching to the monkey. So the speed um, is kind of quite free, but then it has to be fast enough to reach to the monkey that plane. Okay, and so for the angle, it doesn't really matter. So you can use theta if you want, and the distance if you want uh, between this, uh, simply choose s maybe, s x maybe. And then um, once again, according to the situation, the monkey will start to fall once the bullet is shot. So this basically is the situation that you have. 
and of course um, they are on the same planet of <laughs> uh, doesn't really matter if it is 9.81 or on the moon it should still be the same okay so uh, I'll give you some time and you can try to work it out 2000 years later okay so uh, let's take a look of the situation here uh, you have to be very careful and clear about your objective when you want to prove something so here we want to prove that uh, why how in physics uh, the monkey will always get shot so what it means by getting shot is the bullets will meet the monkey right and what it means by that will be the height that it dropped by the monkey say maybe let's go ahead H by the monkey at the same time the bullet will also move up for a certain time so let's say it is uh, going to meet at say this point okay this point then monkey will draw for hm that much and the bullet would go up for hb that much actually this can be negative also they are it's, it's totally fine um, and in that case that should equals to the total height that's between them so um, I use a big H to represent and then uh, SX will be the horizontal distance as I said and this should all happen at time T right when they get hit so this is uh, the information that we have so from the information that we have we can actually construct a few equation firstly it's actually about angle because this is actually quite important to express it uh, since we have already defined big H then we can say tangent theta equal to peg h over s x uh, this is a relationship between them and at the same time uh, for the initial speed for the bullet uh, let's not forget you can always decompose it by u x and u y and in that case since uh assuming there's no air resistance then you can actually find time directly already because you can already find by using distance and the speed here which is uh, sx defined by ux in that case then you can find the time t where it should reach to the plane of uh, the monkey vertically here and so the next thing that we may want to do is simply uh, proving proving this proving this proof h m plus h b equals to h because if this is the case then um, we basically prove that it got shot right so the way that we want to find uh, for monkey maybe we can do monkey first monkey monkey uh, will be for uh, s it will simply be h m and then a is say let's just stick 10 u is 0 and then what else uh, t time t will be uh, sx over ux okay so uh, from this then we can construct an equation using v s equals to ut plus half a t squared so we could have hm equals to 0 easy half tan t square so s x u x square so in that case then we could have h m equals to 5 s x 2 u x power of 2 okay so i think i will just leave it here for now Oh no, actually I can make it uh, even more simplified. I can uh, change ux using the form of u with the trigonometry. So 5s x squared over u, because ux is actually u cosine theta, right? Cosine theta, so square, square here. So that will be actually the first equation that I will name. All right, and you know I will also change it to be even more general by changing it not on earth so let me just call this as G in that case so you have 
also g here and g divided by 2 here and the remaining as g divided by 2 here okay so that it can be applied to any other kind of planet also so the other part will be for bullets apparently and and so uh, look at look by looking at the diagram again then you should be able to devise things like s equals to hb but then uh, notice that when we talk about um, the direction here earlier what we did all the things is based on the fact that uh, going down is positive hm is going down uh, h it really depends on which direction you want to take uh, i'll also go with uh, downward and so since you can see the bullet actually go up at the beginning so hb would then be negative uh, to match the direction and for u which is the initial um, actually we're talking about vertical so this u is referring to the general in initial velocity and in our case it's actually u y which is uh, the actual u so not not to confuse with this u and this u this this is the actual u times the sine theta and once again since this is going up and therefore we have to get like uh, the displacement we have to give it a negative and so for the t it was same as the previous which is s x over u x which in fact this is um, cosine right so s x over u cosine theta and the other thing is uh, same as monkey then a will simply be the gravitational field strength g so using the same way to do uh, then we can devise the equation using kinematics equation ut plus half a t square and that will be negative hb over negative u sine theta times t that will be sx over u cosine theta plus g over 2 times t so sx over u cosine theta square 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 okay so um, if you try to rearrange it uh, then we could multiply the whole equation by negative 1 so that this become positive positive and this become negative all right to kind of like make it look a bit nicer and I call this equation 2 so after you did all these things then we can do that the final step kind of the final step so that is equation 1 plus equation 2 and in that case you get hm plus hb and that would give you g over 2 sx square u square cosine square theta plus u sine theta sx u cosine theta in fact this could cancel out and uh, later on we can change it to tangent minus g over to s x square you may find this is very similar and in fact it is exactly the same as the one that you have before so they would simply cancel out each other leaving you with simply tangent theta cos sine over cosine I hope you learn in mathematics is tangent uh, times the sx okay so, so hopefully this should equal to the big h and if we look back up over here it is great to find out if you rearrange the whole equation that big h equals to tangent theta sx so that means uh, eventually the, the one that you find out would equal to h which equals to the right hand side so this was left hand side
So since you prove that, then that means uh, you prove that. So no matter what kind of angle, no matter what kind of height, no matter what kind of gravity, that means on different planets, uh, no matter what mass actually, because um, there's no mass involved in anywhere in the equation also. No matter what initial speed it is, of course, uh, we are of course still saying that the speed is fast enough so that it will keep um, going and then hit the plane of the monkey before hitting the ground, right? Or uh, you can imagine there's no ground at all if it can keep going, then it is fine. The bullet, as long as it's pointing towards the monkey and the monkey would start to fall when the bullet is shot, then the monkey will always get shot by the bullet. So this is the one of the most classic questions in physics. I hope you enjoy it.